What is going on, everybody? It is Party Dragon coming to you with a live stream, but not just any live stream. No, 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 no. It is the Mud Runner American Wilds live stream. Today, we are going to be getting into the Rocky Hills. Uh, going to be playing through this. And let me go ahead and just show you guys what we're uh, going to be going through, uh, kind of the, uh, the setup and everything here. Uh, so if we can look on our map, we are down here. We are by two loaded log carts. Now, loaded log carts have uh, two load points, as what they're called. And our mission today is to take each loaded log cart all the way over to the lumber mill. I've already delivered two out of eight just as a kind of like a setup practice run just to make sure everything is going all right and all that good stuff um but also too uh we need uh well we need uh three more uh log carts to uh, to fill it up we got two over here and then we're going to be going all the way over to here also too as a side note i want to get these watch points uh cleared up too as well so what we're going to do i'm just uh, breaking it down for you we're going to be taking these log carts uh, that are already loaded uh, with our, uh, I believe, yes, we're in the Ford. Uh, back through this way to the lumber mill. Going back, the other log cart to the lumber mill. We're going to go out here to get the watch points. And then we're going to get our last uh, log cart for the uh, for the live stream today. So kind of uh, just kind of a breakdown of what is uh, going on, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it since we already have it planned out. And booyah, we already have our log carts here beautifully set up there. I am going to have to uh, be uh, definitely going through the map and back and forth for, uh, from the map and driving too as well. So let's go ahead and get this uh, get this underway here. Let's go ahead and get our parking brake on. Here we go. And we got our diff lock on. All wheels are on too as well because, well, it's Mud Runner, American Wilds. That's why. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to be uh, backing up here to the, uh, the log cart. You can see behind me too. Uh, are we going to be able to reach? parking brake on. Let's go ahead and see if we actually can. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, well, it's not coming up, so. Park brake. Okay, so we do need to move closer. All right, so it basically tells me that right there. It's a little bit more down that way than I had actually thought. All right, let me see if that's... Uh there we go. All right, cool. So we got our first uh, load up on there. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead. I'll need to check and see which uh, which way we're going to be going. Wheels need to be turning that way. Here we go. All right, are we aimed in the right direction? Let's check and see. It looks like we kind of are a little bit to the right. And then just out, basically just a, a clear shot out, so... I don't want to attach the winch. Nope, 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 nope. Alright. What if we just uh, keep driving? So we said a little bit out to the right is where we're going to be going. Yes, okay. So basically we're going to be aiming towards this... Uh... There we go. Alright. I'm hoping, I am really hoping that our log cart does not flip over. Because if so, that is not going to be good at all whatsoever. Is there already something? Oh, there's a stump. I did not notice the stump, but let's make sure. So we're a little bit off course. A little bit more to the to the right, it looks like again. So where is there a clearing out to the right? Alright, let me go ahead. I'm not even gonna not even gonna mess with that. Let's go ahead. Try to get through this 
stump here. That wasn't even the stump there. There we go. I think we're already stuck almost. Hoping I can get away with this without us tipping over our log cart. Okay, there we go. That's enough. I wish there was a better way to uh, control the uh, the camera here, but it is what it is. So. Hoping we can get through these bushes and everything. Straight on up. There we go. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead. Parking brake. All right, so now we're basically we're literally going to be going to the uh, to the left here almost pretty much all the way left so it's gonna be out looks like that way down there all right parking brake off let's go ahead and go we just have to find a good clear spot to like get over basically uh, let's check and see can't really go over those hills, or can we? Maybe we can go over to the right towards those hills? I'm thinking more so, instead of just going through this forest, ducking and dodging. Ah, it's fine. Forest might make it a little more interesting anyway. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it at least, shall we? I don't know if this is a good idea to be doing it in first person, but I need it at least just for this little part because uh, we need to basically just see where exactly we are going. So many trees to dodge, oh my goodness. Just gotta take it little by little, slowly, slowly. out of here. There we go. All right. Now if we can hit this hill, we gotta hit it straight on though. Straight on, straight on. Come on. Nope, don't want to be going to the left. Which way are we going to be going? Oh, we are way off course. Oh my goodness. But it's okay because now we basically have an open field to play with, so that's all right. I would rather us have this wide open field here instead of going through all the forest to be a little bit quicker. So, it's a good it's a good trade-off, I think. I think it is over these uh over these limbs here again. Got to just take it easy. Take it easy, slow and easy. Slow and steady wins the race. There we go, all right. Okay. 
Yeah, we're gonna be getting into some deep water here in just a uh, couple minutes here. I'm gonna go ahead and start turning our way towards the left just a little bit here. Looks like we can go down without a problem, hopefully here, a little bit anyway. Alright, we're starting to turn the right way here. So it looks like that there's a little a little dip in the river over this way just a little bit. So we're going to be aiming going to be aiming for this little this little opening here in the river as much as we can. Looks like we're heading straight for it, which is good. Right into a forest area too as well. Oh, that is one heck of a cliffside though too. Oh my goodness. All right, wait a minute. We got to stop here. This is uh, this is quite a steep cliffside. I did not. Uh... All right. Well, okay. I kind of got an idea. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna cross here and we're gonna go down towards the left. That way, we're still we're still across the water. Getting up alongside these trees here. There we go. Okay. Now this is going to be a little lopsided, but that's all right. We're going to continue down until we see basically a little clearing of the uh, of the hills here as much as we can. How tall is this? Mm, I don't know if we can climb this with our with our cart. I guess let's go ahead and check and see if we can. It's just gonna be quite uh, quite the risk though. We're gonna get stuck, we're gonna get stuck. We're just gonna have to ride this hill down a little bit, just a little ways, until we finally do find a uh, an actual clearing here. So, there we go. All right. Let's go ahead and hold up here. Might look like the hill is starting to uh, starting to kind of curve out here a little bit. Okay, here, here it is. Here's our breaking point. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna break, cut out to the right here. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can.
come on, we gotta be hitting a rock by now, right? Alright, let's go ahead and use the winch since we can. That's what it's there for. this trail just for a couple feet and then we're gonna go back on up towards this hill here where it kind of flattens out just a little bit more there we go there we go yeah it looks like that's as good as we are going to get so Little by little, we are trucking on through. that one let's get should we go over to the left here let's check and see well we are almost to the lumber mill which is good so it looks like upcoming is going to be a downhill i really don't want to go uphill and then go straight down so we're going to go ahead we're going to start cutting it a little bit to the right here there we go let's try to find as much flat uh, flat landscape as we can and the rocky surface is pretty good though too as well because it means that we're not getting stuck in all of the the mud and stuff so there we go all right we finally got some flat surface to plan out our next uh, line of attack here and it looks like we're basically just going to be going straight straight on down if we go straight down is that a lake Looks like that might be some water. Might have to hit over to the left to dodge these trees over here. That's what I'm thinking. Instead of going over here and then getting into the water. Unless the water is something that we can cross. Let's go ahead. Um, so that's where we need to go way over on the left. Cross those trees. Let's see how clear that that actually is, shall we? Always got to plan out uh, before we just, you know, just go crazy and wild and all that. Actually, there may be an opening down that way. I just don't want to hit the water, so. Oh, the lumber mill is literally right there. Do I see? I don't, I don't see any water, though. I'm just, I'm afraid that if it is like a... Let's go ahead, let's inspect this thing. Oh, got our parking brake on. My bad. My bad! This is where we are going to be getting into trouble if, if any trouble were to come. Oh, we did get a little bit of damage there too as well. Alright. Got to keep trucking. Okay, that's the lumber mill. And that's all full of wood. So basically that wasn't water, it was uh, wood... Let's go ahead and go down towards the, the left here then. We're almost there. We've almost got our first uh, log cart, which is awesome. And we hear rock music. We hear the sound of rock and roll, which is always a good thing. It's always what you want to hear 
uh, during the gameplay. Oh, okay, cool. Lumber mills right there. Um, I don't want to go through all of these twigs and branches and all that stuff. I don't want to risk losing our log cart literally two inches away from the lumber mill. So, go ahead. Yeah, just drive it on in. Power to the metal. Pedal to the metal, I should say. All right, yeah. Let's go ahead and unload those two points. I want to make sure it's the same lumber mill I'm thinking of. Okay, it's the only lumber mill, so good. All right, awesome. Woohoo! All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna get over here to this fuel station uh, to fuel up and everything, and then we'll go ahead, go back out, hit it again. All that good stuff. Where are we? Uh, where are we going? A little out to the left, and then boom, fuel station. All right. Can we actually take the road to get there? I don't know. Is there a road that goes through there? No, there isn't. <laughs> All right, we're basically just going over the uh, the mountainside then. Go ahead and take one last look left over those cliffs, and then we're good. All right. Oh, so much pressure off of my back without that stupid lumbar cart there. We really didn't take that much damage though either, which is always a always an awesome thing. Not much damage at all. All the way down to the left here it looks like. Parking brake, man. There it is. All right, cool. It's literally right in front of us, so very good, very good, very good. Let's go ahead and fuel up. And then I gotta check and see if there's a place for us to uh, to repair to, just in case. So. Oh, okay, cool. Well, our fuel is. Uh... Okay, there we go. Is there a, uh, a garage or anything anywhere at all? No? No garage? I am not seeing a garage at all anywhere. This is rather strange for this, uh... Twelve hundred repair points. Let me go ahead and see if I can use up that, uh... That repair trailer here. I'm not sure as if I can or not, but so we can't. Uh... All right. So what we can do is that we can go ahead and just use our repair supplies itself. Um, there it is. Oh, fuel. Oh, crap. So we have no. Hmm. So we have no way of repairing, it looks like, as of right now. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, we just gotta be super careful during this entire level, I guess. I mean, geez. Oh, right into a pole. <laughs> right into the only pole that was literally anywhere near us. Alright, it's so hard to do this without roads. Like, I mean, there's only one road that goes here, and then one road that cuts over here. 
they're just like random roads. They don't, you know, connect to anything at all. It's so weird. All right, we got to go all the way back here to get our uh, other loaded log cart. Oh my goodness. All right, so that's going to be a complete. We're going to be turning right. Let me go ahead. I'm just going to start I'm just going to start making uh, markers here. Uh Well, maybe not. Maybe we don't even need markers. All right. We're uh pretty much going the right way, so is why we take it nice and slow through here. So if we were going any faster, we would definitely have uh, gotten some damage there. So. Right. Let's go ahead and get up on these rocks here. Yeah, yeah. That looks like that's such a cool scene right there. All right, so we're about to go through the lumber mill yet again, going all the way down towards the, the log cart here too as well. Let's go ahead and put another one here. All right, there we go. Is there markers that kind of remind us which uh, direction to go? Since it's becoming night and all that good stuff, so. I really just don't want to be receiving any damage here. It's just, it's not, it's not all that fun, you know? Parking brake. <laughs> Every single time, there is no, uh, there is no other uh, way of me doing that. I don't know why. This time we're just going over the uh, the limbs and stuff. I really don't care because we don't have a log cart, so we're free, wild, and rambunctious, all that good stuff. So yeah. yeah. Go ahead and get on some headlights, shall we? Before we get fined or whatever. Yeah, that's a thing that actually happens here, I think, too. Uh, it's either it's either this game that we get fined or um, American Truck Simulator. I know that that's horrible that I can't <laughs> remember which one. But uh, all right, you guys ready for the roller coaster? Here we go. Come on, baby. Yeah, Ford Power. That's right. Oh, man, that's not good. That was just like a simple bump, it looked like, too. All right, we really need to find out how to, uh, how to repair this pretty soon here. I'm hoping that we can get through another log cart and everything. You know what, since we're already on casual and it's not uh, hardcore mode, I am actually going to go ahead and just skip night. Uh, 29 liters of fuel? Really? That's the trade-off? 
I'm not gonna do that. No, night is fine. It's gonna use up our fuel and stuff. I mean, why not, right? so nice to get out in the uh, the outdoors go mudding especially when you're uh, you know you gotta stay home and all that stuff so but we make the most of it you know playing video games as such as we uh, you know as we should and everything okay come on where is the oh jeez please I'm not going over that thing there's no way I'm going over that thing. nope you're not dragging me over there buddy you ain't doing that going between these two trees. There we go. I'll find another way around. How about that? Oh, we are in the thicket now, boys and girls. Guess we're gonna have to go over to the other uh, right here. Mother Nature is just uh, battling us today in so many different ways. Inching towards it, inching towards it. There we go, we got some rocks too, which is gonna help us out a lot. There we go. Oh, we're going down, down off the cliff. There we go. That's all right. All right, saved it. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's check and see how close we actually are to, um... Oh, okay, cool. It's like literally right in front of us. It's just that we can't see it because of all of the, uh, the thicket and the brush and trees and all that good, beautiful nature stuff, so... There's the the uh, the other log cart. And there's the hitch over on that side. We'll go ahead and get leveled over this way. There we go. So we got our second log cart. Let's go ahead. Let us start getting back all the way back again to that lumber mill. Let me go ahead. I'm going to start putting our uh, our points out yet once again. Just so that we know where to go and all that good stuff. Looks more flat over here. Alright, cool. Got our points all done and everything, so gotta go ahead. We gotta try to avoid these stumps right off the bat here. They're almost like landmines. I mean, they're just everywhere. And they're just like so lethal to our car. It's ridiculous.
I gotta keep it straight, gotta keep it simple. Just gotta keep it smooth, cause we are hauling, hauling some logs now. Oh, come on, I don't wanna be a tree magnet. It's so hard, so hard to be precise in a uh, in a truck like this over all of the uh, the mud, the rocks, all that good stuff. Just out of this one. Oh, we're losing that fight. There we go. Now we got some stability. little bit of a backup and then just a little push there so all right cool all right let's go ahead we're gonna be going out a little bit to the right here just a little bit just a tad shot through. Hopefully. Hopefully anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and switch on. Oh my goodness, that doesn't help much at all. When in doubt, just winch it. Am I right or am I right? Just kind of got hung up on that tree a little bit there. So it is very much a, uh, a thinking game, you know? I mean, you have to think ahead and, uh, whoa, we are not going down that way. That is for darn sure. Uh-uh, no way. We're going down this way. Our truck has like literally become a uh, a tree magnet. This is like this is crazy. All right, well, not much water here, so that's good. It looks like a bigger of a lake than it actually is. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna head on down to the left until we see a clearing. I'm not sure how big the cliff actually is or anything. So we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna use our initial judgment. Uh, we're gonna be going down. To the left here, 
like I said, until we get that uh, that clearing. If there is one, hopefully there will be. So. Alright, looks like this is going to be our first of many uh, hills that we're going to climb here. going to be getting stuck here, so never mind that idea. Should be going to the left a little bit more here. How straight is our, uh, Careful with those mud patches there. Man, it's like every single hill that you want to go up that's doable, you always get stuck in mud. And then if you're not stuck in mud, then it's a hill that you just can't climb. So it's like every hill choice is absolutely paramount. I hope we don't take any damage on this one. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby! We are not going up that one. No, 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 no. Nope, there's no way. Nope. We're gonna cut down to the left, and then we're gonna cut down to the right. All right. Well, winch it. It says it's pulling, I don't really know if it is or not. Disconnect that, there you go. Too much mud on that one, that is for sure. Let's see if we can't get out of this uh, this little thicket here then. See if we can use these uh, rocks as uh, just some added uh, some added traction there, but it doesn't really look like what we can. Well, this was a bad choice, but uh, just goes to show you. I mean, you just really do not know until you start getting up on these hills how much mud there actually is. So. to uh, fight to get up on this hill. It doesn't look like we're going anywhere. All right, let's go ahead and start backing off then. All right, let's go ahead and let's try another, another point of entry here, shall we? Um, I guess we, well, uh, that's way too steep there. I 
looks like we're gonna be denied here too, so let's go ahead. Our log card will be all right for now. There we go. At least we're turned back around now here, so let's go ahead and try this hill again here. See where we can go. I think I've got an idea. Gonna be going up over to here. And that way we still have trees in case we need to use our winch and we can definitely uh, definitely winch ourselves out, so. like the worst part of the forest I think that we've uh, really uh, we've really gotten to so just gonna keep going straight on down here We gotta be careful of the mud. Yeah, baby. Yes. All right, we got our second, our second log. Oh man. All right, yeah, definitely gonna unload that truck full of cheese wheels. All right, so it looks like we need one more, one more, guys. We got this. All right. Let's go ahead, do another plan of attack. We have got to get this repaired, though, too. I'm not really sure how to uh, how to repair it. Scout trailer. Hmm. Well, if we're going to the uh, the fuel station, utility semi trailer, and the scout trailer, I don't know if we can actually use the scout trailer or not. Possibly. I don't know. Let's go ahead and put down some more uh, some more markers here. And let's go ahead and stay on this side. And boom. Sure. Alright, here we go. whatever it is you want to call it. I 
excellent. Put the winch on. There we go. Okay, so we did the, uh, got our, our roof, uh, our secondary, uh, fuel, uh, filled up too as well, it looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and check on that scout trailer over here. It's like it's just gonna be down the road here real quick for us. Let's go ahead and do that. Where is the scout trailer? There it is. Can we use it though? That's the that's the question. I mean, ah, oh, that's field again. Gosh, dog it! Why do we keep doing that? So that's our scout trailer. So do we just go? and pick things up like I mean like rescue them with it I mean what is its purpose if we can't even use it well it's like this you know what I mean let's go ahead and see if we can use it if we winch it up I'm not entirely sure I don't know that's probably a stupid idea but use anything with it scout trailer repair yes okay cool so we can okay so okay I got it so in order to actually repair it then we need to hook up to the trailer itself okay thank goodness all right repair supplies that's it that's all that it really does for us for now so let's go ahead and detach the trailer all right so we are refueled, we are healed up, we are good to go. And this one is, it looks like, going to be the long one. The long, the long journey. Loaded card way over here. I mean, there's nothing that can be even closer than this one. Because even if there's one over here, I mean, look, it's still, well... I mean, technically, we could still hit the road. Over here is going to be nothing but swamp lands. Gosh, this is going to be so treacherous. Like, no joke. I want to go ahead. I want to stay on the right side. I don't know. I mean, should we do Should we do the cliff side? Like, go up on the cliff, stay hopefully flat, and then get the log cart, try to go up back again? Or should we go through the marshes and the swamps and... I don't, I just, I don't know. Let's, uh, it's a lot of trees up here too. Let's go ahead and just do the swamp. We'll go ahead and stay on the, uh, stay on the right. So we'll, we'll go ahead and take the road up until we get to the, uh, the swamp and things. And, uh, hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully we'll be all right. But, uh, are we going the right way? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure. I'm a man! I don't need directions. There's another truck over there on the left. Yep, so we are going to be definitely getting into some, uh, some swamp lands, some wet lands, all kinds of water. Here comes our first, uh, first little endeavor here. Stay on the left here, too. Oh, 
Oh, that's another, uh, that's another scout trio there. It's good to know we have one there just in case if, you know, if anything happens, so. Alright, do we really need to make any points? I don't really know. Let's go ahead. Let's make a point here. Point there for the crossing. Actually, you know what? Point here. 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 Then we're gonna... Well, if we hit this road... Hmm. So we'll just follow the road and then basically just try to do a little whoop, whoop de doo over there. Because instead of going over the cliffs, it just it makes more sense. So, all right, first things first, we got to go ahead and get uh, get through this this first level here. So let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully, we'll have enough traction to get there. We won't get stuck. I'm hoping there will be enough trees for uh, winch points and all that good stuff. So. Yes, we'll see. All right, here's our uh, our crossover point with the water. This is the thinnest that I've seen the water, so that's basically where we're just gonna go ahead and head. And make it a left here. It's so much smoother when we don't have a, uh, a trailer, like, hooked up. I mean, obviously, you know, obviously that would be the case, but seriously, it's just so much more smoother. I mean, you can really just gas up and just go through anything, and you don't have to worry, you know, so much about flipping over or anything like that. I mean, this is a, this is a great little truck. I do, I have to say, I hate the Chevy Blazer. Chevy Blazer, it will get stuck on literally anything anything it'll get stuck um i've actually did a, a video on it i don't know if you guys have seen shameless plug here um with the uh, literally chevy versus ford and i went through both of the other uh, vehicles so we're almost to that road actually here's the road right here looks like i don't know if you would call it a road but uh sure you know why not right Yep, it's gonna be following the road. Hopefully the trip back won't be as bad as I thought. Maybe this, you know, maybe this journey isn't gonna be as treacherous or, uh, you know, as dangerous as I, you know, as I feared. I can hope so, I can only hope so. Look, it's a Chevy Blazer. Does it have any uh, fuel on board or anything? Don't know. Check it out real quick here. It's got a spare wheel and repair supplies. So in case if we get into a bind, at least we know that the uh, Chevy Blazer is here, which is good. But yeah, I mean every single look. I'll prove it to you guys, right? Every place you go, it just gets stuck. I don't want to. I don't want to roll it too far away from here, but like. I just, I like the other one a lot better. Oh, well, diff lock wasn't on or anything new either. Should we make things interesting? No, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stick with the Ford. I'm just gonna go and stick with that Ford, because do another let me just do a mud test here actual mud shall we the mud road yeah it still just doesn't have enough speed or as much speed yeah this thing is still going a lot slower than we were i don't want to risk it and look oh man our fuel oh we can't drive this thing very much all right, let's go ahead and leave it on a flat area here. There we go. Or can we? Nope. Drive 
little bit closer to our truck. That's all right. All right. Let's go ahead and change our trucks. Yeah, I mean, with this one, we just we get a lot more speed over on the roads. I mean, it seems. how quick this thing is going though too through the roads I mean it's crazy it's, it's quite ridiculous really all right so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna do the road until well, it looks like we're just going straight on because we're gonna do that little whoop de doo here so unless we can turn off to the left here where it looks like it looks like I've been before so Yeah, looks like it's uh, an immediate left here. Ooh. Should we get the watch point before? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go get the. Uh, I'm gonna go get the watch point so we know where everything is up here, and then I'm gonna get our log cart, and then we will start the second part of our journey for the third log cart. Ladies and gentlemen, am I going the right way? I hope so. Kind of, sort of. It's fine. Let's go ahead and put some points here. There we go. So it gives us some general direction. What to go for. damage from a little rock that we were barely even going over with enough speed. I can't wait until I get enough to unlock like a you know like a Jeep or something or you know to actually be able to uh, to off-road properly and stuff. That is a deep a lake. Holy crap, look at the watch point. That's not, that's not doable. That is not doable. Oh my god, that is a cliffside. No, we are not, we're not doing the watch point right now. Nope. Change my mind. Change my mind. Yeah, that is not worth it. I did not notice that the, the watch point like literally 200 feet straight up into the freaking air. Heck no. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. was a bad flip. Jeez Louise. All right. Where's our Chevy Blazer? There it is over there. All right. Um, yeah, that did not work out all that well. I'm going to go ahead, switching over to the, uh, the Blazer. There we go. And we're basically just going to follow the road until we get there, so. Alright, well. Got to rely on the, uh, the Chevy Blazer. So I guess we really are going to see what the Chevy uh, Blazer can actually do. And we're almost stuck already. Yay.
us another rock. Jeez. Look at all the damage we're getting from the little rocks. Pretty soon both of our cars are just not going to even be able to drive. Man. Oh, but we passed it. Where's my red marker? Supposed to like always be on here for me, and like it's just nowhere to even be found. There it is. All right. So we basically gave the Ford everything that we had from the Chevy. So I'm really glad that the uh, the Chevy was actually there. So uh, that was a uh, bit of luck, actually. I'm glad it uh, came into play. So let's go ahead and just go straight on down to the uh, the log cart here. And uh, yeah, where is that? Where is my red marker? There it is. Okay. All right. Hit my other car. Too late. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Sorry, going back the exact way I think from which we were coming from, but I mean there wasn't really any place that we could turn because everything was like a sheer cliffside anyway. So. our way to the next log park. Uh, of course, so many stumps now. Can't even get through here. to bump it, not to bump it off or anything. There we go. All right, so we got that connected. Go ahead and start going down this way. Oh man. Alright, so we're gonna be turning down right. We're gonna keep going down this way. And then we're gonna basically hit the road. All the way down the road, and then we'll go ahead and reset our uh, markers after we're done with the road. So like I said, one uh, one step at a time. It looks like we are going to be driving into some uh, through the night too as well in this, so. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That's the lake too. Crap. Go ahead and eat that. I don't think we're really able to go through this lake. I think it's going to be way too deep, so. Instead of uh, reversing and screwing up our log cart, let's go ahead and just uh, make a big old Yui. Just try to basically just truck on through it. All right, our lights are coming on. There we go. So we can see and all that good stuff. So many frogs too out. It's crazy. It's just it's ridiculous. You know? Oh no, not the stumps. Oh, 
Oh, jeez, man. All right, let's just go over it. Got to be super careful with our log card. Yeah, I mean, I guess we might as well just go ahead and start heading towards the, uh, the trail there. Why not, right? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Nope, we're not going down there. Does it let off over here or anything at all? Where does it let out at? Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whew! Man, I thought our cart was uh, about to go right on over. Jeez Louise. Alright, we're going to be turning an immediate right. Looks like we're technically on the road now, so that is good. That is a good thing. We're almost done, guys. Almost done. I don't want to jinx it, but we're almost done here, so... Man. Alright, just gotta get on through it with our last log card. We're so close. So close. Just gotta go through the marshes and the pitch black night, and we'll be good. And still quite a ways until the, uh, the marshlands, so go ahead and stay on the road while we can. Track does seem to go a lot slower uh, with uh, with a uh, trailer though too as well. There we go. So many big rocks too as well. I mean, like every like two feet, there's a rock. Just trying to dodge as many of them as we can.
no stone with the road here. We're going to the right. Um, turn the left here. Just to get as much of the road as we can. Actually, since that log is there, does it really matter which way we go? Uh, it doesn't look like it. We'll go ahead and take the right. I just really don't want to go over this, uh, this other branch here or anything too. All right, we're almost to the uh, the first part of the uh, the lakes here, the marshes, the swamp land. It'll be fun. All right, so there's a do not cross up there. We gotta turn left in order to stay on track here. This is so much, so much harder in the uh, in the dark. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're staying on the left. Let's go ahead and start getting our markers down, shall we? Just in case here. All right, so we're gonna be going down to here, and we're gonna be crossing here. Down. Over this way. And then basically just straight on through our trailer to the other road. See if we can do it. Here we go. I gotta remember not to cross until we see our uh, crossing marker there, so. Crossing. Oh, like crossing right here, I guess. This is so much more difficult. Can we just go straight on through? Down towards the left? I guess we can. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and just do that. No reason to uh, be going over all that water, you know? The, uh, the right side of here. Wow. Actually, we are getting pretty good progression. Wow. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Going straight on through the marshes here. Heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah, baby. Nice. Nice. This has went a lot smoother than I thought. But I think due to good planning, we didn't get in as much trouble as we could have, so that's always a good thing. Stay away from the rocks. Yeah, basically just riding the other side of that. Nothing to it at all. Very cool, very cool. Just keep on this road, right? Yeah, just keep on the road. And, uh, well, actually, where should we be going from here to get to the lumber mill? So we're back on the road now. This, I think, is going to be the worst part, too. 
Alright, so in order for us to cross, let's go down to here to the road and then down here and then we'll cut on up here, up here, and then we'll get to the other road. All right. Our breadcrumbs are laid out. We just gotta follow the trail. That'll be it. That's uh yeah, that's pretty tall too. I remember when I first started playing this game, and I forgot that I could even use my uh, my winch or anything. God, it was so horrible. It was awful. <laughs> There's no way that this is the cliffside that we saw on the map, is it? Oh, it is. That's awesome. That is so cool. Undeniably cool. Lumber mill, straight on down. Sweet! Heck yeah. I thought we were a lot, uh, a lot further off than we actually were. That's incredible. There we go. All right, guys, we did it. Sweet. Mission completo. Good job, guys. Yes. Hit my microphone. Microphone. High five. Yeah. You guys. High five. Heck yeah. Woohoo. Sorry if I hit your, your forehead there. I didn't mean to. But we did it. Yes. Thanks. That's all. Eight load points delivered. All right. Only took us <laughs> two hours. Trucks unlocked three out of four. I don't know. What any of this means, but okay. Progression point earn new maps and vehicles are unlocked. Completed with game balance too, that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and continue playing just for a little bit more. I want to get those uh, those um, uh, watch points real quick too as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get those watch points. Since we don't have a trailer, and since you know, I mean, if we if we tumble over, fall, and all that stuff. You know, who cares, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and be going into the uh, the belly of the beast here. Going to be going through this water here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and start up my, uh, my points. There we go. Then once we hit here, we'll just try to rough truck it until we get to the watch point. So, sounds like a plan to me. Let's go ahead and get these watch points done. Yeah, the other way, there's no way that we could have uh, gotten up to get that watch point. And plus, I didn't want to turn over my truck before the mission was complete. There's just, there's really no point in it. I mean, there's much more risk than reward at that point. So. Let's go ahead and start tearing it up. Oh, crap. I didn't even, I'm not even on the other uh, road anymore. 
Okay, there's the road. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm just kind of going off doing my own thing here, so why not, right? I got a feeling that that's how it's gonna be after the, uh... Hello, that's up on a cliff. I'll oh, we'll wait till we're done with the road, it's fine. It's alright, it's alright. Still got some, uh, some fuel left. But if we do get into a bind, there's not gonna be any other, uh... You know, anything to help us out here. Should we go up on this side? Because I'm thinking once we get down here into the valley, there's not going to be another chance to... Oh, fine. We'll go ahead and we'll complete the road. Why not? Just to see what the road has in store for us. As other, you know, gullible players are going to be playing it. Yeah, that's a lot worse. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and just tackle it. Tackle it on the mountain. It almost it almost looks like a road. Kinda sorta. Of, almost. It's like an ATV trail or something. That's weird. Just so I know where the watch point is, basically just going to be setting a marker. Because as far as the uh, the map goes, we are going to be driving blind for a little while. But I'm hoping that we can uh, make some sense of the uh, the route here. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it on the left here. The only thing is with this game is the camera. I really, um, the camera is almost starting to annoy me a lot. <laughs> uh, it's just, I wish that there was a way to just lock the camera and it doesn't look like that there is. It's just, it's so wild. I know, I know the game is called American Wilds, but this, this camera angle is just more wild than I was anticipating in the game, so. There's the watch point, heck yeah. Alright, this is the one that we saw on that cliff, and we were like, oh, heck no. Now, I'm not sure if the watch points would have gave us a more of a score after completing the mission. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not sure if it would have or not. Oh, that's bright. That's kind of cool. Wow. That's why we couldn't get up on there. Look at that. No wonder we couldn't get, that is a sheer, a sheer height of a cliff there. That isn't actually too bad. All right, we got two more watch points. Let's go ahead and do this. Wow. Look at that river. Holy crap. What we're gonna do is we are gonna go down towards the river here. We're gonna do a crossing. Hopefully it'll be enough to get to the other watch point. Hoping so anyway. All the way down over there. Yep, oh, parking brake. And of course the camera. We're 
just gonna fly our truck over the canyon. We're gonna pull a uh, evil Knievel. No, let's not. Let's not say we did it, right? Uh. Yeah, there's a crossing up here. And we took three damage from another rock. Because, uh, you know, Fords, uh, Fords can't go over rocks, so that's cool. It's a good, uh, good lesson learned in today's, uh, live stream. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so that kind of looks that way. So I think basically we're just gonna hug this right side and literally just uh, pray for dear life. Okay, all right. Hitting up on that brake. Hitting up on that brake, because we don't want any more damage. There we go. Just let it like, smooth on out. There we go. Nope, no, 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 no. we go. Get across. Right on up over here. Let's go ahead. Let's find that watch point. Now, where is it actually going to be? This is nice because it's actually some flat land here, which is really, really good so far. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's, uh, let's keep trekking. I know, I know. Pardon me. As the huge, as the huge. For those of you not familiar with today, today's generation's uh, phrases, that means usually or usual, as the usual. I'm old. I don't know anything anymore. I've, I've gotten way too old. I just I've played driving simulators, and then after that, I'm just like, screw it. Like I don't want to know anymore. <laughs> video games. I'm good. <laughs> Alright, we got us another black flag. Oh, hey, looky, looky what we found. Oh, heck yeah. A GMC over that way. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go right on through the, uh, the door here. And then just uh, go on out the other way. Might as well. Easier on the truck, too, so... Yeah, GMC has been unlocked. That is quite a uh, quite a truck there. And booyah! Navigational map has been revealed. Wow, lots of flat ground up here. Cool. There's another loaded log cart way up there. We got one more watch point, and then all of this is going to be discovered. And um, yeah. So we'll have a, a cool map to kind of come back to and everything. And a cool map to uh, definitely uh, just mud and uh, have some fun around too as well. So, all right, let's go ahead. Let's keep on trucking. That's kind of a cool truck, the uh, the GMC over there though. All right, let's go ahead and go right on over this, uh, this little boulder. Uh, this boulder here. And we're still okay on fuel. I'm actually surprised that we've been doing this well. It's a good thing that we didn't put it on hardcore mode, because this is my first time being in this uh, landscape with the, uh, the rocky hills themselves and everything, so... Oh, 
we're cruising now. Got one damage. We got three damage. Bring on the damage. We don't care. Our mission's already complete. You think those limbs are gonna stop us? No way, Jose. No way. going at all. As long as we reach the destination, right? There we go. Power on through it. watchtower just that simple guys ABC one two three look how easy it can be heck yeah you that rock is gonna be the end of us though down that tree and booyah all right cool got that navigational map too nice very very nice our map is unlocked so all right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna call it a stream. I'm also gonna call it mission complete because that was a job well done. Got a lot done. So we got our lumber mill filled up. We got all the watch points done. Uh, we had to uh, get our Chevy in order to help out the uh, the Ford a little bit. So it's been a, uh, been a full episode, been a full live stream. So thank you guys for uh, joining in, tuning in. And uh, if you guys didn't watch this live, uh, go ahead and subscribe, uh, follow press that little uh, bell button so the next time i do come on live come on uh, join up with me uh you know uh get into some some chat with me i'm a chatty you know person so i like to talk to all you guys so uh, i will see you guys on the next uh party it's been an adventure and uh it's party dragon i am out